Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through a quick review of division, and we're specifically going to be working with one-digit divisors, meaning we're going to be dividing by one-digit numbers. If it's been a while and you need a quick refresher, this should be helpful. Whether you're in middle school, high school, college, continuing your education as an adult, or maybe you just learned this recently, really, no matter what your situation is, here are a couple of examples to help you out. Everyone needs a refresher from time to time. Let's jump into number one, where we have 820 divided by five. Now, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to rewrite this problem. 820 is the number being divided, so it's going to go under the division bar. The number being divided is called the dividend. So 820 is our dividend for number one, and we can put it under our division bar. Now we're dividing by five. The number we divide by is called the divisor. So we have five on the outside. And now we're ready to go through our steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. So we start with divide. We're going to do eight divided by five. So how many whole groups of five are in eight? One, so that goes above our eight. Then we multiply. So we multiply one times five, which is five. And now we subtract. So we do eight minus five, which is three. And now we're ready to bring down our next digit, which is going to be the two. So let's bring this down. And now we repeat. So we start over with divide. We have 32 divided by five. So how many whole groups of five are in 32? Well, six, that gets us to 30. So we put our six up here and we come around and multiply. So six times five is 30. We subtract, 32 minus 30 is two. And then we bring down our next digit, which is that zero. So we have 20. Now we repeat, so we go back to divide. So 20 divided by five. How many whole groups of five in 20? Well, four, that hits 20 exactly. So we put four up here, come around and multiply again. So we have four times five, which is 20. Subtract, and we have zero. So our answer is 164. We know we're done because we went all the way over to the ones place and we do not have anything else to bring down. We do not have a remainder, so this worked out perfectly, so to speak. 820 divided by five equals 164. Let's move on to number two, where we have 6,542 divided by eight. So let's set this up, 6,542 divided by eight. So we'll start with divide. We have six divided by eight. How many whole groups of eight can we pull out of six? Well, we can't do that. We don't have any whole groups of eight out of six. So we need to take a look at the next digit over and combine that six and five to make a two digit number. So we're looking at 65. How many whole groups of eight are in 65? Well, eight, that gets us to 64. So 65 divided by eight is going to be eight, and that eight needs to go above the 65, not the six. Now we multiply, and I'm going to do this without drawing the arrows for number two here. So we have eight times eight is 64. Subtract, 65 minus 64 is one. Then we bring down the four, and we have 14. So we repeat, we have 14 divided by eight. How many whole groups of eight are in 14? Well, one. Then we multiply, one times eight is eight. Subtract, 14 minus eight is six, and bring down our two. So now we have 
62 divided by 8. We repeat. So how many whole groups of 8 can we pull out of 62? How many whole groups of 8 are in 62? Well, 8 times 7 is going to be 56. And then 8 times 8 is 64. We don't quite have enough for 8. It's going to be 7, which gets us to 56. So let's write our 7. Multiply 7 times 8, 56. Subtract, we get 6. Now we went all the way over to the ones place. So we do not have any more digits to bring down. We are done. This one did not work out perfectly like number one. We have a remainder, something left over. So that six is our remainder. The final answer, 817 remainder six. So there you have it. There's a quick review of division and specifically one digit divisors. So we were dividing by one digit numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.